All right. <laughs> Okay, Roz, um, that's switched on. Can you hear my voice? I can hear ringing. Ringing noise. Yeah. Is that quite a loud ringing or a quiet yeah, ringing? A loud quite ringing. Loud. Okay. We'll give it a few minutes and see if it settles down. <laughs> Do you want to talk to David? See if you can okay. hear him. Oh God, what do we talk about, Roz? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Can you hear my voice? I can see you moving your mouth. Do I sound like... I took out a lot of beeps. Do I sound like a chipmunk? No, you just sound like a beepy thing. A beepy thing. Yes. <laughs> Did the beeps stop when we stopped talking? Yeah. Yeah, good. So they're really loud when I talk. Okay. Yeah. You're obviously a lot closer to the microphone than yeah. we are, so you will sound louder. Mm -hmm. Is the beeping changing as I'm talking? Is it just one type of beep all the time? Or is it going up and down? Or is it different pitches of beep? I think it is going up and down a bit, yeah. yeah. Is there something else? Uh, the quick fox jumped over the lazy dog. That's the classic one. Everything's just very beepy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'd expect with you having your hearing loss for such a long time. Yeah. It's really positive that you're a really good lip reader. Yeah. Because it means that you can turn your hearing aid off mm -hmm. and still talk to me. Yeah. And it means that your brain should then associate this weird noise with the speech. Yeah. And it then should start to sound more like speech mm -hmm. and less like beeps. Yeah. I think already it kind of... A bit easier. Ah, good. In a minute, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it usually does improve through the appointment. Yeah, okay. Well, that'll carry on for years. So after one minute, if it's twice as good, mm. it's like Moore's Law, but for your ear. <laughs> That's good. I should have brought something to read, really. Yeah. You got some text messages. I have I. Janet, Janet says good luck. You get some things on. You get some things on face. Your your phone's telling me all these things. And everyone's saying good luck. Oh, nice. <laughs> so we, we had a few minutes in silence there. Mm -hmm. Did it go quiet when we stopped talking, or were you still hearing a ringing? Um. Yes. <laughs> so it, it all the sound stops. When we stop talking, or is this still a? Yes. Yeah. Good. And then we start talking. It's like zing, 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 zing. Yeah. Quite <laughs> weird. Yeah. So that's really positive. It it means that it isn't tinnitus. Mm -hmm. It's the sounds that we're making. It's just that your brain doesn't understand mm -hmm. what those sounds are yet. Yeah. So that you should find that that starts to improve quite quickly. Mm -hmm. So we usually see people get quite a lot better quite yeah. quickly and then there's a more gradual improvement over a longer yeah. period just like that yeah. yeah so okay. to start okay. with <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to start with you're not able to tolerate a lot of sound coming in because you've not heard anything on that side yeah. for a while and you've never heard through an implant before so to start with you'll only be hearing sort of the more louder sounds around mm -hmm. you as we gradually increase the volume over the next few weeks, mm -hmm. you'll start to hear some more of the quieter sounds. Yeah. But you'll find to start with, you probably won't know what the sounds are. Mm -hmm. So silly things that you're used to at home, like yeah. you know, the washing machine spinning, yeah. and water running and things. Mm -hmm. You should be able to hear them, but you won't know what that noise is. Yeah. So it's great you've got some time off work because mm -hmm. you can spend some time experimenting yeah. a bit. And you'll probably need to ask David what things are quite frequently so you'll be, going, you'll be thinking what's that noise yeah. and it is really good if you've got somebody that you can yeah, ask because hopefully hopefully once you've heard a noise a few times mm -hmm. you then will recognise it when you hear it again Yeah. so eventually you shouldn't need to be questioning yourself what is that your yeah. brain should just say oh that's the kettle boiling or mm -hmm. the tap running but yeah. to start with it probably will be quite tiring you might even find that you need a nap partly through the day. Um, <laughs> no, ch no change there then, Roz. <laughs> oh, be quiet. Okay. Yeah. 
And you're in, you're in luck. I know what most of the noises are. Hmm? You're in luck. I, I know what most of the noises are already. Yeah. You know what? I know what most of the noises are. Maybe I have to. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry to start with if it does make lip reading more difficult than usual mm -hmm. because it is quite distracting yeah. having these new noises. So it will improve. Mm -hmm. It's just to start with, your brain will be very preoccupied mm -hmm. with what the noises are that it's hearing. Yeah. So rather than concentrating on yeah. speech, yeah. oh, what's that? And, mm -hmm. yeah. How loud is it sounding at the moment? Um, not as weird as when it first got switched on. Um, I think it sounds quite chirpy, mm -hmm. but I can't make out words or anything else. That's fine. It's just like noises. And <laughs> Do you think, is the beeping the same when I'm talking and when David's talking? Or is um, the beeping different for each of us? It's different. I can't tell how. Just strangely different. Just somehow different. Yeah. Not as high pitched. Yeah. yeah. Chris, Christine says good luck. <laughs> so um, will will Rosa's like neural pathways already be changing? Will they be already be adjusting if she's? It's it's interesting because because you can't have a high resolution MRI scan with an implant. Yeah. Nobody's really been able to track. I see. The changes as they happen, but oh yes, you can't have brain am I? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, logically, mm -hmm. people do get better very quickly, so you would expect that things are changing right mm -hmm. from switch on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as you'll know, the brain is amazing at adapting to new things. So, as you get more used to yeah. it, your brain will change to accommodate the new signals. Yeah. But yeah, nobody's been ever able to look at so strange. how that happens. So strange. You're a black box, Roz. You're an enigma. <laughs> You're a black box. Yeah. No one can know. <laughs> Tell you what's interesting, though. You can you can see the signals yeah. that are being yeah. transmitted. So as I, as I talk, you can see exactly what's going through. Is that on the yeah. Yeah. Wow. Probably won't come through on the video, yeah. but... Those numbers tell me what frequency it is. So the low frequencies are on the left and it moves to the higher frequencies on the right. So is that the way it is in the cochlear anyway? Yes, yeah. so you can see on... High frequencies on the bottom and then it moves to lower. Yeah, I exactly. always get it the wrong way around. No, you're right. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Because the high frequencies wave mm -hmm. is shorter so it doesn't go as far in. Yeah. Whereas the low frequencies goes in further. Yeah. I always remembered it because the high frequencies wear out first yeah. because they're in the entrance to the cochlea. Oh, so yeah, yeah. everything cool. bashes them on the way past. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in a while, I knew you were busy. I was like, I know all of this when we were in medical school. I was like, actually, no, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that high frequency part of your ear hasn't really been doing very much over the, certainly the last few years. So it will be strange for you hearing yeah. high frequencies again. And that's probably the, the tinkling noise <coughs> that you're saying you can hear. You said it sounds very tinkly. Tinkly? Yeah. 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 It's not as beepy as it was Good. to start with, but I still can't recognise it as sound. It's just a... Yeah. That's quite normal. I'd expect yeah. that with the history of your hearing yeah. so it will get better honestly <laughs> yeah. okay how are you finding the volume would you like mm. me to increase it at all or do you think leave it as it is at the moment just try increasing it yeah. i can see how does that sound now does that it's um, more input yeah uh, but um it just feels like it did bad minutes ago yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you will you will find that whenever we change something, it will sound really weird for a little mm -hmm. while until yeah. you get used to it. So what we'll do from today is I'll give you some different programs in yeah. the processor so that you can gradually turn it up as mm -hmm. you get more used to it. Yeah, because most people find that a day or so after their switch on, it starts to sound really quiet. Yeah, because your brain's got used to it, and you'll be wanting to turn yeah. the sound up. So if we give you those programs, you can do that 
in your own speed. Mm -hmm. And then when you come back to see me next time, yeah. you'll have already moved it up 